Hi, I'm Bill, the Piano Tuner. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about regulating the keys. Now take a look here. You take the weight of the action off of the key in the back. And take a look here. What you do is you lift the key a quarter inch above the keys next to it and let go of it. If the key hangs up like that, you know that the balance rail key bushing is tight. Now these are key easing pliers. They're not made to squeeze or crush wood. They're just made to snug up key bushing. Now what you do is you insert the key easing pliers and gently squeeze. Then you switch it over and get the other key bushing. Gently squeeze. Now we put the key back into the action. And test again. Quarter inch above the other keys, let go. If it goes down, you've adjusted the key bushing. Now, when you're doing your key bushing test, the quarter inch above the other keys, you let go and the key does this, hangs up on the pin. You know that the balance rail hole is too tight. So what you do is you take the key out, you burnish the hole, you put the carpenters all in, gently press in and spin the awl, so you're burnishing the hole. It's good to do this twice rather than once and overdo it and make the hole too big. Put the key back in and do your quarter inch test again. And if the key goes down all the way on the pin, you know you've solved that problem. And when you do your quarter inch key test again, the key should all go all the way down in the front. Now if you do it and the key does not go down in the front, you know that the front rail key bushing is too tight. So you remove the key, just like we did with the balance rail key bushing. You use the keys and pliers, gently squeeze through both sides, put the key back into the action, do your quarter inch test again. If the key goes all the way down, you know that the front rail bushing is correct. Now the other thing this tool is used for is twisting the front rail pin. You see that it turns and spins. Now unscrupulous tuners sometimes will twist these pins to take the space up. This is a very bad practice. So when you go to a piano and you see the pins are not directly straight like this, you use this tool to straighten the pin. That's what I have for you today. And until next time, I'm off to tune pianos where I'll be perfecting each note one key at a time.